Hi, I'm Darnell with Wave Over Recipes, and today I'm going to show you how to use your air fryer like a toaster, doing some of your breakfast favorites, and we're going to also throw in a little bonus that isn't one that you would usually put in a toaster, but just show you how to cook that in an air fryer as well. And so I'm going to get started with all of that right now, and we're going to be using the Instant Vortex Plus air fryer oven to do this cooking. Alright, so for our first cook, we've got frozen Eggo waffle. These are hard frozen. And I'm going to basically start up the Instant Vortex Plus. I'm going to hit air fry. I'm going to take the temperature down for these Eggo waffles down to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm just getting it down to an even 300. And there we are at 300. Cooking time is going to need just two minutes, so dropping it down to just two minutes and hitting start so that things can do the preheat that it does. I'm going to just take a couple of these egos out and I'm going to put them here on this uh, air fryer basket here and just let them hang out until it's time to put them in after things are done preheating to that 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll get them on in. Time to add our food, preheat's done. Put it up here on the highest rack level, that's the third one up, close up. We'll let those run for just two minutes and then I'll bring you right back. All right, we're coming down to our final 10 seconds. I'm going to, as soon as things are done, get in there, get our egos out and we'll see how done they are. So time's up. And there they are. Now, I didn't cook them hard. I cooked them soft because I want my egos cooked softly. But I don't know if you can see down bottom, you see a little bit of it turning brown down there. Just faintly turning brown down on the bottom part. And this one you can see was starting to turn brown over here. They were just starting to get to a point where they would have become very crisp. It's uh, kind of crisp on one side. It's a little softer on the other side. They're not soggy soft, but it's soft on this side and it's a little crispness on this side so that, you know, your waffles aren't overdone. But that's how you can do some Eggos in the air fryer and it kind of be similar to a toaster and you still have like just a little bit of softness maybe on one side. This one is kind of done on both sides. It's just, a, you can feel it's kind of soft in the middle. Let me get my uh, pot holder off and I'll just kind of, you can see when I separate it, it's not like crumbling. It's a soft separation. And so it's, it is kind of softer on the bottom and kind of crisper on top, but it's good. It's pretty good. And that's how you can cook up a waffle or frozen waffles in your air fryer real quick. Alright, next up I have some Pillsbury Toaster Strudels. These are fully frozen as well. And to cook these up in the air fryer like a toaster, I've got another crisper tray here. This one is totally cool, so I'm not putting the toaster strudels on a warm crisper tray. But I'm going to take our temp, after I click air fry, take our temp up to 400, which is the maximum for this air fryer. Cooking time, I'm going to leave at the two minutes, just two minutes, and hit start. And we'll let things preheat, and then we'll get these on in. But for now, I'm just going to take the toaster strudels, set them out on the crisp tray. And I just want to show you while things are preheating, I've got the frozen toaster strudels out. And you can see, even though they haven't been toasted yet and they're frozen hard, they're hard frozen, but they, you know, kind of have that kind of toasted look to them before you even put them in. So, you know, just keep that in mind when we pull them out that they already have kind of a toasted texture to them in advance. Alright, the preheat's done. I'm going to open up, put them in. Same high rack level. Close up, let those cook for two minutes, and then I'll bring you right back. Coming down to the final 10 seconds, and I'm going to get things on out of there. And I've also got a thermopen here, and I'll show you why I'm going to use that in a moment. So, going to get the crisper tray or 
crisping pan or whatever it's called with your cooker out of there. Air fryer basket, you know, they use different names for these things and different uh, types. But there's our finished toaster strudels. You see that they are done. They're a little more cooked than they were when they went in in just two minutes. I want to show you the temperature inside because you want a toaster strudel that's not frozen inside but is not like super hot either. You can see it's like in the 90 degree range on the inside of that toaster strudel. So even though the outside, you know, is toasted, you've got an inside that has, you know, it's somewhat cooked but not like super hot, not super, you know, super hot inside. So, you know, you see we have it all done. So that's how you can cook up your toaster strudels just like you would in a toaster but using an air fryer. All right, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do toast. Now this is homemade bread that I made here and I have videos here where I've used like the Zosharushi bread maker to make bread if you want to see how I make homemade bread. But this one is cinnamon bread in particular. It's like white bread with a little cinnamon in there. And I've had it in the refrigerator. So this is a refrigerator cold bread. And I will say with homemade bread, it does, maybe with toasting, you would toast it a little longer than your store-bought stuff. If you have the store-bought bread, you may need to go a little shorter time than I'm doing here. But I've got two slices of it here on the uh, crisper tray. And I'm going to get my air fryer back on. 400 degrees. Going to leave it at the two-minute setting. So two minutes, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Going to hit start so that things start preheating. And I'll bring it back once it's ready to put the toast in. Preheat's done, time to put it in. Put it up on this highest rack level, third one up there. Close up and we'll let that cook and I'll bring you right back. Alright, we've got just seconds left and then we'll be getting this toast out of the air fryer and we'll see how it looks. And so with one second to go, we're done. We open up and let's see what we've got. That's just two minutes, folks. You see how nicely toasted that bread is? In just a couple minutes. I mean, that's some great stuff. Now, this was an end cut. You can see it, you know, looks like an end cut on the back. But this other one, I don't want to burn myself. But on the back of it, you know, it doesn't cook the other side up. But it does get the one side cooked nicely toasted. So, you know, you can work with that. And let's see, I'm going to... Just real quick, I just want to kind of split it open for you. And you see when I, you know, split it open, it looks like it's, you know, splits easy. So that's how you can toast using the air fryer. All right, I've got my bread back from the refrigerator again. I want to show you if you want to do butter toast. You know, it's a little, just slightly different, but not much. But just show you how butter toast goes. And I have, I'm using Smart Balance Buttery Spread. That's what I use for spread on my toast. But I guess if you wanted to use a different type of spread or regular butter, you know, probably going to be about the same for you. But I'm going to get two slices of my homemade bread out and set them here on the crisper tray. And now that I've got them out, I'm going to start buttering them up. And while I'm buttering them up, I'm going to start up the air fryer. I'm going to keep it on air fry 400 degrees Fahrenheit. But the time will go up one minute, just one minute more to three minutes. So going to hit start and let that warm up. While that's warming up, I'm going to try and quickly slather some butter or buttery spread onto my bread here. Time to add the toast in. You see it's all buttered up and so we're going to put it right in there, close up, bring it right back in a few minutes. All right, we got just 10 seconds to go and we'll see how this buttered toast turned out. And like I said, with, you know, store-bought bread, you might need a little less time, but you can kind of, you know, figure it out for yours. But there's our 
buttered toast you see it comes out real nice with it nice and brown on the edges and you got where you had your butter at it's real you know nicely you know melted in there real nice and so that looks pretty good so I'm just going to set those down there and close things up sorry about that bang there but we can see here with our butter toast you see the back side you see the butter starting to melt through and you see when I split it it kind of you know splits real nice and easy because that butter is in there and so that's how you can do your butter toast and you can't really do butter toast in a toaster but you can in an air fryer if you do butter toast in a toaster it might you know make your toaster kind of messy so this is a little something that you can do in an air fryer that you really probably don't want to do in a toaster all right so the last one that we'll do it's a breakfast treat but it's not one that you would ever put into your toaster unless you want to I don't know, make a mess or something but I have here some frozen sausage and so I'm going to just get a couple of these sausage patties out you can see they're fully rock salad frozen so very hard and I'll use the other hand to get the air fryer going 400 degrees Fahrenheit going to take the time up to eight minutes so get down to eight and hit start going to let things preheat and then we'll get the sausage in there all right time to add our food in and going to get these up there slide it on in and we'll let that cook for the eight minutes and then I'll bring you back and we'll see what we've got getting down to that final 10 seconds I hear that sausage sizzling as you see there's zero smoke issues no smoke at all with this particular cooker the time is up I've got my thermopen I'm going to get in there and check some temps so we see it's at 180s you know it's real hot so it's all over 170 so it's all good and safe for consumption straight from frozen in just eight minutes so setting them on the plate now you could if you desire turn them halfway through if that's your uh, personal desire preference I just let them go without any turn at all but I'll show you the opposite side looks pretty well cooked all the same now I'm just going to go ahead and cut into this let you see inside everything looks uh, you know nice and done and good to go and so that's how you can cook up some frozen sausage real fast in an air fryer and you know it's not much mess to clean up in there just some drippings down on the bottom there it doesn't make too big of a mess but you know I can show you down here you know there's not much down there not much at all and you know the crisper tray you know not not messy at all the inside doesn't get you know no splattering all around or any of that it all turns out pretty good all right so that's how you can use your air fryer just like a toaster you can also use it to cook up your buttered toast your frozen sausage all your breakfast uh, favorites you can cook them up in your air fryer air fryer oven doing a similar type of technique and so you know it turns out all pretty nice and it makes cooking things real easy you might even want to try and see if you can double up and do you know multiple things at once it's all up to you and just see how things turn out for you but with what I've shown you here you can get going and do real good and also I want to mention that you can get plenty of recipes for air fryers and other types of cookers on my blog at superwaveovenrecipes.com and I'll have a link for references for printable version of these types of cooks in the video description also and so with all of that said I do hope that you did like this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave your comments. You can subscribe, hit that notification bell. Also, in the video description, there are things like referral link for this cooker. You can buy it at a real nice price, no extra, and you help this channel. Also, other ways to help this channel are there, including things like memberships where you can see videos before others and things like that. And so, with all of that, I want to wish you and yours good eating.